Oh, we're live. <laughs> Sorry guys. Sorry we're late. Uh, we're having some technical difficulties. It just wouldn't work for us. This is our first time doing lives. Full disclaimer. Yes. So, our first time ever. Yes. Yeah, so we switched phones and it's working now. Yes. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> I'm Kelsey. And I'm Brooke. I have been with Limelight only since October. And I, know. and I got her to sign up, my awesome sister, uh, last month. Yes, I've only been with Limelight for a month and I'm already blown away by the company and all of you. So, yeah, Thanks we're so excited to do this, you guys. Please, we're drinking wine. You guys grab some wine, some tea, anything, whatever you like. Whatever. We always start our parties by um, making sure um, all of our guests have something to drink, preferably. Some wine or something like that. Yeah, and tea so, for you pregnant people out there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so um, please relax with us. Um, we're here to have a good time with you. Yeah. Um, I have no idea since this is our first time how we can see comments, how we can't. I don't know. Um, so just let, yeah. So I've left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, sorry, guys. So please okay. bear with us. Can somebody send me a heart so I know that we can see you? Yep, see, we can't see anybody. That's okay. Now well, we try. can. That's okay. Okay. We can see. We can see who's there, kind of. Yeah. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Violet. Hi, Brittany. <laughs> That's everybody we see now. Okay. So, basically, we want to start by saying um, we're no experts by any means. No. But what we have tried has worked. So, we have... Um, my first party, I'm gonna just start by telling a real quick a little story about when I signed up with Ashley, or with Lindsay in October. Um, I signed up that October incentive, really motivated me. I really wish we could see anything. Um, and, sorry, we're still trying to figure this out, guys. Let's keep going. That's okay. Um, so, we, uh, see it still says to do that. There it goes. Okay, um, sorry. Anyways, um, so with my with my October incentive, it just kind of motivated me, and I threw a party four days after I signed up, and I was qualified as a beauty guy in five days, guys. Five days. It was amazing. I just, like, I was so glad. I mean, I on it, honestly, I didn't think anything I did had anything to do with it. I was just like, limelight, is that amazing? It sells itself. It's amazing. I'm obsessed. But we're just here tonight to show you kind of what our parties look like. Yeah, and how we do it and kind of like our recipe for success with them and kind of some tips and tricks that we've learned that have really helped us out. Um, we know that there's other ways of doing parties out there and we're not saying that those ways don't work or um, that those ways are awful or anything like that because we've learned a lot from... You know, especially like Mary Kay Kemper. Mary Kay Kemper's uh, live, which you can find in the Empire, is amazing. Or her video, whatever, her training on home parties. It's amazing. I absolutely loved it. Everything was just awesome. Um, I took a lot of her information, and I could, we'll probably talk a little bit about what she said um, and kind of how we twisted it a little bit. Yeah. 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 And I'm um, just kind of made it our own because you have to find something that, you know, works well for you. And if you're, just completely copying someone else, then it's not gonna work for you because you have to make it your own. That way it's more comfortable. So, um, let's see. Um, we just kind of wanted to start by um, telling you guys. Um, I really, we can't see any of your comments, just so you guys know, but we are gonna look after and um, respond to all of you. Respond. Because yeah. we wanted this to be kind of interactive so that we could like kind of talk back and forth with you. Um, yeah. Lindsay, if you can give us any advice on how to see comments, feel free to text us. You can. You can text me because we're using Brooks phone now. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, text yeah. Kelsey. Um, actually, the pop-up on my iPad, too. But um, anyways, so uh, one of the first things that we do is we want it to be really fun, and we want it to be super relaxed and everyone to have a really good time. Definitely. So we, have, we always start with a theme. Yes. So makeup and mimosas. Mm -hmm. And we got this idea from... Like one of my first emails, like in the in the like the trainings. In the trainings, they said always start with a theme. So if you guys want to do a home party, definitely go back to your training emails and read those because they have easy invitations too that you can use on what is it, 
red stamp. Red right? stamp, yeah. Yeah. Um, what I do is I get, I use Word Swag and then a couple other apps that Lindsay told me about, honestly. But our invitation looks something like this. It's kind of hard to see. So it says you're invited um, to treat yourself to facials, makeup, and of course some time with the girls. And then I always do put my um, website here at the bottom just so that way whoever gets an invite in their hand can make sure, um, like, even if they can't come to the party, they can make sure to just go there. And this is one of her older ones that she did, which I still like. She doesn't like it as much just because it's one of her, one of the first ones that she did. Um, but I still think it's really cute. And this was like a makeup and mimosa theme. Um, and I just think it's really pretty. Um, and it's like kind of like a really brunchy looking invitation. We found that, so, so far our parties have been at a couple different times. Um, yeah. First of all, let's just say we are not so savvy on the Facebook yet. We're trying, guys. All of your guys' live videos and all your trainings, they're motivating us, but this yes. kind of is our icebreaker because this is our first yes. time. You guys um, have help, are helping us so much, and thank you so much for being our first Facebook Live and for bearing with us yes. right now because this is definitely not our comfort zone by any means. Mm -hmm. um, we're much better in person. <laughs> so um, we are definitely trying um, this out for the first time and um, we look up to all of you ladies and watch all of your Facebook Lives and you guys are so amazing. So yes. thank you for that. Um, so we do anywhere from one to two parties a week because that's kind of where we're getting in it, is we are, um, oh, it says, hold on, Kathy just told me how I can see comments, so I'm gonna write hello, and then we're gonna see if I can see your guys' comments or hearts or anything, because we can't see anything right now, but we'll see. Anyway, so we do one to two parties a week, and, um, what was I? Where was I going with that? So we've been doing about one to two parties a week. And the thing is, is like every time we host a party, pretty much people have so much fun. They're texting us the next day saying, oh my gosh, I had so much fun with my friends last night. You guys, that was amazing. And it just kind of naturally spirals into more parties, more people wanting to host. Right. Um, so like, for example, I have a party tomorrow. I have a party on Sunday. Next weekend, Kelsey has two parties. So we're averaging about one a week between mm -hmm. the two of us. Um, so some end to a week between the two of us, probably. Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's working for us. What we're doing, you know, you guys can see, um, and we, we love it. We're, we're having a ton of fun with it, but we really wanted to get into the social media aspect of it too. So we're not saying, you know, do home parties, don't do the other. We are, that's just kind of how it started out for us. And so while, and we heard that some of you are trying to get comfortable with home parties, and we're on the opposite side. We're doing home parties and we are trying to get comfortable with um, Facebook Life. So yeah. we're hoping um, while we're, we've been learning from you, maybe we will have something to offer you. So basically, um, a good host incentive. Here, I'm going to put this here just in case. Um, okay, a good host incentive that we try to get people to book a party is we will offer them because, yes, Limelight does offer good host incentives, but the $500 mark that you have to hit seems kind of intimidating to a lot of people. So we, um, just to kind of motivate them, we say just for throwing a party, we're going to give you a blender full. And they're just like, what? I get a, I get a $22 item? Of course I'll throw a party. And the reason why I feel okay with doing that is not only I know that it's going to put my brand, my name, and everything out there, but it's also going to... Um, it's going to, like, they spend a lot of money just throwing the party. Because you, ha you have to think about they have food and drinks and all of that stuff there. And we want to make sure that we, like, talk to them about the theme and make sure that they're on board and it's something that they're comfortable with. And then they seem to just really, really go for it. Yeah, they, like, when they, when they find out they're getting a blender full, they, they think it's, like, the best thing ever. And it's something that's, you know fairly easy and affordable for all of us, whether you're starting out new, like, um, like me, like, um, Kelsey, although she's been here longer than me. <laughs> um, and you know, you ha haven't built up like, you know, a lot of product credit and you know, you're not getting a, a fat paycheck yet. Mm -hmm. Um, I say yet cause, <laughs> because, um, um, but you, you know, even if those things haven't happened, a blender full is affordable for you to get as a host incentive and you can come up with whatever item you want. I just kind of noticed that people, at least that are going to our parties, um, even though they absolutely love the Blenderful, they're kind of spending their money first on other things. Like they don't want to buy like a tool right away necessarily as much as they, unless they're already struggling finding the right 
beauty blender for them. Um, it's just a good motivator. It's a good motivator. Yeah, it, it really is. It's a really good motivator. So, um, we, one of the first things that I did when I started doing parties, is that this? Yeah. Okay. Is, um, Limelight, if you go into your green room, you will find this awesome little page here. Um, I know, it's kind of hard to see. It's really see shiny because she lights. laminated it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, they come out, you print two of these on a page. And then what I did is I laminated them all. And then I give everybody a dry erase marker. And I let everybody write on here because it shows like what foundation color you are. Because a lot of times you'll have so many people at the party that you just won't be able to keep track of what they themselves are using. So this is a great tool and it's awesome if you can have the ability to laminate it. Um, I think you can get it done probably anywhere. I have a little cheap laminator from Amazon. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon if you yeah. if you want to invest in that so that you can laminate things. But also, I mean, you could print them out. I think, right. I think two fit on a page if you wanted to print them out for every party. That's a choice too. Um, and it's also great because as they like things throughout the party, they can also write things, you know, they can write things down and keep track of things throughout the party too. Yes. Um, why don't we start um, showing them what our setup looks like? You guys want to see? I'm excited. So we'll show you kind of what our setup looks like and then kind of the process Process that we go through through the party. Okay. Do you want to take it or do you want me to? Um, why don't I take it and you talk? Okay. So, let's see. I gotta flip this camera. Well, I can talk if you want. Oh, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> okay, so basically we have our bowls and then inside each bowl there is a wash rag, a hair tie, and a headband. So, my first party I did not have these two things. And I'm telling you, everybody asked for one. So I was running into my bathroom and grabbing my hair ties and my um, little headbands that I had. So the bowls, guys, this all looks kind of fancy, right? Can you show like a... Yeah. It looks a little fancy. Up. And sorry, we split from landscape back to the regular mode. So I'm sorry if that's messing anybody up. Um, so it looks kind of fancy, but let me tell you, it is not that fancy. <laughs> These pretty little mirrors, the bowls... Um, the dry erase markers, all of that stuff, Dollar Tree. Well, the bowls themselves and that these came from Dollar General. And then these came from Dollar Tree, these came from Dollar Tree. So it all looks really fancy. Everybody thinks that they are just getting treated like amazingly. We have our makeup remover wipes. So what we do is at the beginning of every party, we'll have everybody sit down and get comfortable. And then we will take their bowls and fill them up with water, hot water. Yeah, and that's after everybody has, we made sure everyone has something to eat, has a drink. Right. Um, everyone's had a chance to visit because, I, I mean, at least it seems like the culture at our parties is is that everyone's a little bit late. Yes. Everyone's getting there at different Always. times. So everyone's kind of had a chance to chat, visit, grab something to eat, and then it gets everyone time to get there as well. Yes. And, and then we the always pearls, have our product displayed too. The Pearls Brooke got on Amazon, I believe, right? Yeah, it was like this whole setup. There's like little diamonds, pearls, and like black pearls. And it's perfect because it matches the limelight color scheme. I just happen to already have them because we do kind of have a lot of parties. Um, and then it, right next to um, us somewhere, um, in my house this is kind of where it works the best, we have samples set up of... Um, all the skincare products, all the samples that Limelight offers because Kelsey, annoyingly, bought them all and they were all in stock. <laughs> um, we have extra washcloths because everyone asks for another one. Mm -hmm. um, because after they've used theirs for so long, they're like, I need a dry one. I need this. And then we have um, popsicle sticks that I also got at the Dollar Tree. Because every time we get out like um, Bamboo Renew or cream of, crop, cream of the Crop, which we'll talk to you in a second about why we do all that, we get out a clean popsicle stick or a clean side. That way people can see that we're being super clean. And really and sanitary. And really sanitary with all of our So stuff. let's walk over here. So when people first get to the party, they see this. I don't know if you can see it. I think they're having like, because I think that, I don't know. Anyways. Sorry guys, we're still new at this. <laughs> so, um, well, this is all still here, like that way. I don't know. Okay, so we have everything here. Uh, Mary Kay kind of said um, to make sure that you have an example of kind of all the different palettes if you can. 
and everything there that comes in. I do not have the foundation palette with the two concealers, as you can see, so I just put out what I have. Um, but otherwise, it's a pretty good example of it. We um, totally ran out of time to clean my brushes. Just ignore that. I just <laughs> they are dirty for me and Brooke using them, but usually everything is sparkling clean. And it, I don't know, I just think it looks really nice. Everybody's really impressed by it. And they get to see a little bit of everything, like all of the different eyeshadow colors and everything. So if all of this looks really intimidating, like you guys, um, say you can't afford to buy it right away or anything like that. Remember, I signed up in October, so I had that awesome October incentive. So I put everything that I had back into Limelight. I put, like, I got my Reiki, I got most of this product and everything, not just from my incentive money, but also from the money that I was making from Limelight. So that has helped me a lot out with buying stuff. But when I threw my first party, I only had the stuff I was buying as um, a customer from Lindsay and my kit, and that's it. I didn't have all of this stuff. So don't get intimidated by this because you can do it. Like, like I said, I hit my incentive in one party. So, or my, my fast start in yeah. one party. And I didn't have all of this. I only had my kit and a couple things that I had bought on my own. So don't get intimidated. You can do it with whatever you have on hand. Definitely. Okay, so now we, uh, I think we're gonna go sit back down and we're just gonna kind of talk to you about like how, how we, we do, do it, it, how we do it, how we go through the party and like, our process. Okay, sorry guys. So bear with us as we get back on the uh -oh. Reiki mirror. Hope and... you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> yes. Uh, sorry. Bear with us, guys. There we go. Okay. Can you do a party with just your kit? Definitely you can do a party with just your kit. So that's basically all I had. I mean, I had some foundation. Um, when I first threw a party, I, did, I had some foundation of my own, but I didn't have foundation for everybody. So you can most definitely do a party with just your kit. Of like, my own, but I didn't have foundation sorry. for everybody. So you can just So you can definitely, like, Limelight gives you so much in your kit, and there's so much great, um, there's so much great stuff in that kit, and it literally sells itself, guys. It's amazing. But what me and Brooke found out in doing it is, um, we don't focus on just skincare and just makeup. Right, so um, we come to every party um, with everything we have. Like, don't leave anything, anything at home. If you're taking notes, which, not that we're like cool enough that you should be taking notes, <laughs> um, but if you are, um, one thing I would say that you need to write down would be, don't leave anything at home. So, we never know all the people that are coming to our party, unless, like, so example, for, okay, so for example, when I threw my party at my house when Kelsey was selling to me <laughs> um, before she had convinced me to sign up. I didn't know everyone that was coming, but I had told people to bring friends if they wanted to, so I didn't for sure know. But every all those women that are coming lead completely different lifestyles. So for example, at the last party that I hosted, I had a realtor, I had a daycare person, I had um, a stay-at-home mom, you know, like you just have all these different people and all their needs and wants are so different. Some people are only interested in skincare. Some people wear full face and makeup every day. Some people could care less about their skin and they wear a bright lip every day. Like I remember one lady we had last time, she was like, yeah, I don't wash my face. And we were like, like she was just not, she was not there for it. No. She's like, mm -mm. she's like, this feels amazing. Oh my gosh, this, this lemon, it smells so good. When we were doing the, um, the facial, the, uh, skin polish, the skin polish. I'm like, it's gone. It just went out of my brain completely. The skin <laughs> polish. Um, and uh, she's like, I love all of this. It feels amazing. And then we did her makeup, and she's like, yeah, I'm probably still not going to wash my face tonight. <laughs> she's like, I'm so glad you were putting this on me because I'm going to sleep in this, and I'm going to wake up and just be ready to go in the right. morning. We're like, no. <laughs> so it might sound like I digress, but my point is is that you, we don't believe in either doing makeup or skincare at parties because... 
and this is what kind of one of my issues with um, some other um, makeup parties, skincare parties I've been to with other brands in the past. I've never represented any other companies, but I've been to parties before. And like you would go and it would kind of be like in a really formal setting and you would have to either be either doing like some facial with like, like this much product on your little palette in front of you or makeup and it like you couldn't see all the product at once and you didn't it just wasn't like comfortable and fun and like feel like you were hanging out with your friends and that's really I feel like not what limelight is about and that's not the environment we wanted to create at our parties so bring everything you have even if it's only you know a few things but just be prepared for any type of client exactly like for example we had somebody that was really struggling with their um like wedding ring giving something like doing something with their wedding ring it was, it was causing a reaction a yeah. yeah so um I grabbed out 40 hair cream like here try this and put this on there because you don't want to leave anything at home because you never know what that person's gonna have um we had or at one of my parties that I was throwing before Brooke signed up she was helping me with and I'm gonna let her take it because it's kind of a cool story when it comes to um when it comes to the makeup part, we're going to go all over the place, guys. I'm sorry about this. I hope you can follow along. My mind is kind of, yeah. And, like, we've just had come up, like, along the way, we've, we've come up with all these little, like, good things to keep in mind when doing a party. And mm-hmm. so, and they're not all, like, following, like, a certain thing. Right. So hopefully that's okay. Um, and Lindsay said, make off, make, up, make off wipes for the red lip lady. And we sent her home with one. We <laughs> said, <Yeah>. you know. <laughs> Um, we were like, please just take it off, please, just, just so we can sleep tonight. Can you please just take this home with you? Um, so, yes. Yeah. So, I think one of the ways that Kelsey got me to sign up was being like, can you just please come help me with this party tonight? Because um, we um, have thrown a lot of parties together. A like, lot. A lot. So, we... The reason I've had a couple babies. Like, yeah, so I threw... Yeah. A couple parties. Yeah, and... I've thrown her baby showers, and we've thrown bridal showers together. We've thrown... Honestly, we've planned people's Gender weddings together. Parties, yeah, anniversary um, parties, everything. We love parties. So we have a lot of party supplies. This is like nothing. <laughs> um, <laughs> By the it, way, the tablecloth. You can get it at tablecloth.factory.com. And I feel like a, ta- a cloth, tablecloth, no matter what you're doing, is important. Do not get anything plastic. Or, or if you do, please don't tell me about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just, just they're not expensive, and that way you don't like have to worry dollars, about. But... It's just important to have one because you don't want to have to worry about ruining anybody's tables or doing anything like that. So yeah. just make sure that it instantly you have makes one. like a beautiful cle- clean canvas for your party. Um, and yes, my snobbiness is showing right now, but it's fine. She's going to tuck it back in, guys. So yeah, I'll fine. tuck my snobbiness back in, it's fine. <laughs> um, so the, anyway, so we're at this, the, that's my, <laughs> I go back to that. <laughs> so Kelsey is making me go to all these parties with her and she's like, I just really need your help. Okay. I just need you to help me with people's like makeup and like, you know, cause even if you, you just got to help me. Yeah. Yeah, she's, sorry. Uh, she's it was kind of innocent, a requirement. Right? I was just like, "You're coming, just so yeah. you know, you're busy." Yeah. By the way, we live an hour and a half from each other, but it's fine. But it's fine. I just um, was like, "You're coming, no matter what," and she was there. Yes, I was. Um, it kind of goes along with that um, amazing um, vampire training video last night about your tribe. Yes. You guys, if you haven't watched it, you have to watch it. Okay, it's the best video in the world, and it was. I just loved her so much. Yeah. So, Ave, so if you're a beauty guide or and you have the opportunity to go with somebody or to bring somebody with you, and you're do eight. it. Yeah. Do it no matter what. Just do it. Because mm-hmm. they will see how much fun you guys are having, how much you love it. And, and you need an assistant. Because you know what? We have to change out the water of those bowls constantly. We're going to tell you about that in a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways. So, um, I'm there and I'm helping her um, color match people mm-hmm. with their foundation. Because I've been doing makeup for a long time. I've done makeup for weddings and all that kind of I stuff. I went to cosmetology school. We're all, like, really... Into makeup. Really into makeup. And, <laughs> and all of it. And um, so I was color matching somebody. And she really suffered from rosacea. And so she's got really red cheeks. But she's such a cute girl. And she's got this amazing personality. And I'm having fun doing her makeup. And um, one of the reasons we have those mirrors next to the bowls is so that people can watch that what we're doing. Because we really don't want people to get home from a party after ordering all this product their product comes in the mail and they'd be like now what do I do with it right they just did my makeup and I don't remember how to use this stuff because that's not going to create a lasting client if they just get it and don't never use it mm-hmm. so um I'm putting I'm using the blender full and I'm I've color matched her I'm putting it on her 
Um, and she says, I've just never really found a foundation that will, you know, cover up my redness. And we and have talked stuff. up this foundation because in the, be in the beginning of the party, I always focus on the foundation. Like Mary Kay Kemper says to highlight one item. So I talk about quite a few, but I always focus on one. And I had talked up this foundation. I was like, this foundation is for everyone. It changed my life and it's about to change yours. And she just didn't believe it. She's like, nah. Yeah, and I didn't really believe her because she wouldn't shut up about the stupid products. <laughs> um, and Not for selling it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because she made me wear it for a whole weekend, and I was like, I don't like my makeup anymore. <laughs> um, so anyway, so I go. Um, I'm, <laughs> you guys, I'm really sorry, but I will get back on topic eventually. So I'm putting the makeup on her, and all of a sudden, she literally gasps. Like she, she's like looking in the mirror, watching me do it, and she's all. <gasps> And she's just like stunned into silence. And then like, I almost thought she was going to cry because all of a sudden like her entire face was, um, just perfect. Perfect. It was perfect. Like there was no, there was like, it wasn't, it was completely, oh, what's the word? I'm looking for flawless. Something. Well, it was flawless, but like, you know, when it like even her, all her whole entire skin tone was evened out. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, so, and it was like perfect. And she had just, her face had never looked like that before. Um, and it was just like this like awesome moment and like that's what you get to experience at parties with your clients because when you're if you're not like face to face with them and doing one on ones like you don't get those moments and right. it was really awesome so just wanted to share that with you guys definitely um so basically to once we we kind of showed you what our setup looks like so that's kind of like what you're gonna do at the beginning right um is you're gonna set all that up mm -hmm. we Mary Kay Kemper has a one bag rule. We have a one tote rule because not all that stuff can fit into a bag, but it can fit into a tote. So the tote, you just bring that in, you set up real fast at whatever table they have or anything. We have two different tables here and most likely somebody will have an end table if they don't have another like card size table or mm -hmm. anything. So you set up that and... Basically, you get that all done, you grab a drink, you sit down, and you're still able to do what Mary Kay Kemper says and just sit down and relax with your host for a minute and just kind of feel like you're a part of their group. You don't want to come in feeling like you're above them or like you're in charge or anything like that. You just go in and you're one of them, and I swear that helps. Yeah. I just start making small talk with um, the guests as they arrive. Mm -hmm. um, and... We once and going back to like having a quick setup, like once you have a setup and a table that you really like, stick with what works. Like don't try and like get creative all the time and you know mix it up. I'm not saying you can't. It's just it's gonna help make your setup you know quick and fast every time. Like this, um, the main table that we just did. Um, a lot of times I'll do that one and Kelsey will do the makeup one, and it takes me like five minutes to do it because it looks the same pretty much every time. Stay consistent. Always stay consistent. That's like a really big tip. Yeah. Um, write that down. <laughs> Not that you're taking notes, but if you are, write that down. Um, by the way, everyone, you guys are all so sweet. Like, We're just now seeing your comments because we have it pulled up on something else. So you guys can start asking questions if you want because we figured out how to have to see them yeah, on her iPad. They're popping up on here too, but they are? Yeah. Like oh, the bell mirrors. That was a long time ago though, wasn't it? That's okay. Anyways, okay, guys, we're gonna. Anyways, get back we to are. It. So you guys are so sweet. Like you guys are like love your energy. You're, um, you guys are awesome. Anyways, we love you. We love you too. You guys are upping our confidence. Yeah, to do lives this is future. really helping. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, so let's go through the whole thing. Okay, the whole process, which is not not long. Don't worry. <laughs> They're like, wait a second. What have they been doing? <laughs> what have you been doing this whole time? <laughs> okay. So after everyone sits down, the first thing that we have them do is wash their face. She already skipped a part. It's fine. Well, what happened to her that? <laughs> we don't have them do anything, but when it, once we get everybody sat down in a group, <laughs> we talk about it. We, oh, right, right, We right. give them a little, a little, t I like to give them a little bit of the background on Lime Light just because I think it's awesome. Um, and then we talk a little bit about the product, highlight one, watch the Mary Kay Kemper video. I'm telling you guys, watch it because that's where I got a lot of my info on what to say and all of those things. So we give them a short little... Thing on on the product or like I love the foundation I'm obsessed with and it and play to your audience too like if you already know that someone's like really into it um, really into um, like cruelty free or um, you cruelty know, free is a big one especially or chemicals here. Um, yeah <laughs> I live in Chico California and um, we, we and lots we're, of hippies we're talking granola crowd you can't say hippies it's like oh. it's not like socially acceptable to say that Sorry. it's not PC you have to say like granola crowd or something 
Um, um. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, so just play your audience. If you have somebody that really likes to wear lips, just put lips on and talk about the enduring lip color and how amazing it is. Right. Just definitely talk about the product and how amazing Limelight is yes. in general. Yeah, and basically how, you know, it's just really important um, that not to use any chemical, like any, but anyways, all those things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see the laughing faces. I appreciate that. Oh, I can see yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, Brittany was born in Chico. Oh, oh me, me too, cool. Brittany. Oh. Not raised here, but born here. Um, I didn't know that. And so, oh, Kathy is born in LA. Same crowd here. So, um, at least she was offended by your comments. So we're good. Okay, that's good. <laughs> um, no hippies, granola. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, so. Play into your crowd. That's our point. Okay, guys, just look yes. at your audience. And if you don't know, then there. just do like a quick overview. Because, um, anyways, so the after we do that, then we have them wash their face. Right? Yes. yes. And at that point, we've got warm water on the table in well, those bowls. We have them use a makeup wipe if they, if they want like. to. Yeah. Yeah. If they want to take their makeup off with a makeup wipe, that's why they're there. Some people just dive straight into the water. We've had people dip their faces in. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's like they literally just have the bowl on the table and then you just see them done. It's really funny because they're just confused. They're like, do I just go for it like a Neutrogena commercial or like, um, am I supposed to? Um... And we're just like, yes, do it. Just go for it. Yeah. It's wonderful. And then everybody starts laughing and it's the best thing. Yeah, exactly. So they take their makeup off. We usually start with, we used to always start with quench cleanse. Um, now we kind of do both we're like do you have like we ask him oily what, skin do you have dry skin this one's great for aging skin and then everyone's like i want that one <laughs> give me that one so when i first started for example i did not have a uh, dream clean right i did not have it i only had quench cleanse because it came in my kit and i used it so um instead of saying this is for a uh, dry skin because that's what you know if, if, what if somebody's like oh i have oily skin I always say, this is great for aging skin. And did you know you're supposed to start using anti-aging stuff in your 20s? And they're like, what? Give me that stuff. And that's exactly yeah. just kind of how that works. So sell what you have. If you don't have it and you want to throw a party, let them use what you have. Because no matter what, anything that they sell, you can. It, it's good for everybody. Right. And for example, like we still don't have Calm Balm, do we? Yes, I do. Oh, well, she hasn't now. <laughs> but she didn't used to. And so we have, but we do have samples of Calm Balm. Yes. So um, we would like, you know, have that available. So then we've, we've um, and we have must do and um, Sotox here. I don't usually give out Sotox during that process. No. Uh -uh. But we will, I will, I will, I will boost moisturizer with must do. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, oh wait, no, we don't do that. We don't moisturize yet. Sorry. So we cleansed way our skin. Past it. Sorry. <laughs> We've cleansed our skin and then after we rinse off the cleanser, um, we go straight into skin polish. So we have them put a lovely mask on their face and we let it sit there. And then during this time, right? Yeah. We switch out the water? Yeah. Uh no not yet. Oh. I don't think so. I think we wait. No, 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 we wait. Off. So basically all that's in the water now is just like they're them getting their face wet and then rinsing that off. Well then we give them um bamboo renew. Yeah. Yeah. So while they're exactly. while the mask is sitting on their face, so we say like you know scrub your face for about thirty seconds, and then we're gonna let this mask sit on your face for about ten to fifteen minutes, which everyone is super happy about because it smells amazing. Um, and then they um, everybody does that, and then while that mask is sitting on their face, everyone's kind of chit chatting. We're like walking around putting um, bamboo renew in everybody's hands. So when we give out samples, guys, so this is like our like a sample from your kit, right? So we use this. It already smells good. <laughs> I know. And then you just get some out like this. So they know that they are getting, like, what, this is what they're going to get if they order it. They're going to get something on a, like, <laughs> so this, that's going off of their stick. Because you want them to be extra sanitized or sanitary. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure they know that you're extra sanitized. And you are just going to put it on, on them, switch out a new one every single time. But it's really important to do it out of these instead of, I mean, you can do it out of your samples, but it looks better and we've gotten a lot of compliments on using the stuff out of the container. You look less cheap that way too. In you do, opinion. and it's like nice and then they can hold the product and see what they're actually mm -hmm. getting, um, you know, in their shipment. So after we do Bamboo Renew and they rinse their hands in the water, we give we them... Switch out water. Give them fresh water. We give them fresh water, but we also have them do cream of the crop on their hands. Yes. 
So, um, which um, one mistake I've made, and Kelsey corrects me quickly, is they don't need that much cream of the crop <laughs> because that stuff oh. is expensive, and, <laughs> and a little bit of it goes so far, so far. Like at the when she <laughs> put it on there, I was like, "You're gonna want to use that on your arms now." <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, I forgot. It was fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, anyway, so then everybody does, you know, cream of the crop. And basically now their hands are feeling like a million dollars. So then they rinse off their face mask. And then we moisturize. Then we moisturize their face. <laughs> and then we start color matching everybody. Um, now, keep in mind that during this time, everyone's chatting. Everyone's having a great time. This and is hard. This is a hard thing, guys. It can get loud. Really loud. Everyone's been drinking, maybe, hopefully. Even if it's tea, <laughs> they're still putting something in their mouth. Okay? Yeah. But and their friends, probably. Yeah. And so there's side conversation, you know which is I great. That's today? what we want. We want everyone to have a great time. Like, you know what I did today? I did it, and you're just like, Kelsey, get back to topic. Okay. Like, that's kind of what happens. Like, I'll be, it's just like us right now getting sidetracked, but at least yeah. we can whip right back through, okay? Yes. Everybody's talking about their day and a fun experience, the, you know, good week, bad week. <laughs> Yeah, you know, things like that. So basically, this is the hardest part. It's the hardest part, but we've been learned how to do it in a fun way to mm -hmm. where you're not feeling like the mean person. But it's still hard to like get the guts to do it. Um, and what I we're talking about is <laughs> drum roll. <laughs> you have to be the strong voice in the room, and you have to get everyone's attention back on you because you are talking about these products, and you're not just walking around silently handing them these products. Right. So um, I'll I will say like, hey guys, it's my turn to talk, um, or yeah. you know, just or I'll be like. You know, especially if you know your host really well, um, like, I will usually try, inter like, interrupting them. So, um, I made the mistake of inviting my mom to one of these parties. <laughs> she got so irritated, I was embarrassed. <laughs> because she was like, um, my daughter is talking? Was like, it was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> you need to stop talking. So, I, I wish I could have recorded it, so I'd be like, this is what not to do, guys. This is what's not to do. You don't want to be rude, but you want to make sure you keep it playful and just be like, hey, guys, I'm talking now. <laughs> or like, yeah. hey. And I, like, one time I was like, hey, yeah. my turn to talk. <laughs> and they like all laughed, you know, yeah. and stuff like that. So, if you can keep a way to keep it playful and light and just keep going, um... Then they, they they have fun with it, and you know, like we've it's never been an issue or whatever. But sometimes it just takes the guts to do it because you right. want to get through what you're saying, and you want them to you know know about the products. Otherwise, like why are you even there? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um. So then after that, we start color matching people for foundation. So I was able to get with a lot of my incentive and stuff like that the the palette of six different colored foundation. If you don't have that, use just. I mean, we still use the um. The color match thing that comes in your kit. That is what yeah. we use to color match people. And it works amazing. Yeah, mama's always got your back. She really does. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I would, um, yeah, I would color match everybody no matter what. Mm -hmm. Unless they don't want to be color matched. And then you want. That way they can write it down on there. You want to remember to write it down. Yes. These things are awesome, guys. They'll save you. Because I'm telling you, if you do ten girls or even three girls... Or five girls, however mm -hmm. many, you are then to be like, what What color were you? And then yeah. you're going to have to keep redoing it. Yeah. So definitely use these. And that's one thing that I would write like on your business card and sending it with them if they're not ordering, but they want to order later. Yes. Um, and then, so we personally do everyone's makeup. I didn't mm -hmm. necessarily intend to start out that way. No. But they like they expected, expected it. it because they know we do makeup. Mm -hmm. And um, like we were like, oh, we color matched you, your foundation is done. They're like, and what's next? Yeah. So what are you going to do my eyes? How are you going to do my eyes? And what about my eyebrows? I know you guys do your eyebrows. I want my eyebrows And your eyebrows lips done. are really pretty. Can I have that color? Or yeah. do you have like a more red? Yeah. And what about your mascara? No. What's <laughs> happening with that? So basically we have uh, Mary Kay Kemper also. I'm going to keep referring back to her. She's all the amazing. Um, she knows what she's doing, guys. <laughs> so you want, uh, she wanted to make sure that you know your laws in your state. So I personally going to school for cosmetology, I know the laws in the state. I know um, I would have people come and do weddings with me and all of that stuff. So just definitely know the laws. I know the laws in California, and it's fine to have people touch your face if they're not licensed. So that's something good to so know. So all of you in California, you are good to go. Go for it. Um, yeah. Um, but in that, you always want to make sure you don't just attack somebody. You want to mm -hmm. make sure that they're wanting it and they're there for it. But every, par every single person that we've had at our party so far 
has just been like, okay, me, my turn. Yeah. My turn. And I do try and get people to like, at least be part of it themselves because again, when they get home, I want them to be able to do it themselves or like I'll do one eye. I'll have them do one eye, mm-hmm. you know? Um, or I will start applying it with the blender full, but I'm like, you need to feel this thing. You need to, you need to use so this. So that's the other thing. So I did buy, um, from Limelight, the, well, I bought blender fulls, but I, mean, I also bought the sponges. Stuff. Okay. So, um, instead of using the the blender or the sponges, like the disposable ones on everybody, we just wash them in between. So that's, it kind of takes a little bit more time, but I have sold a blender full to almost every single person at parties because yeah. they know, they see how it's getting like put on their face. They feel it. And literally they're like, oh, it's like a cloud is touching me. They're yeah. obsessed. So definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, just. And don't forget to follow up with people. You guys probably already all do this because you've been doing this way longer than me. (laughs) Um, But don't forget to follow up with people and tell them to get their blenderful wet when they use it. Because um, even if you told them that at the party and it was wet when you used it at the party, Mm -hmm. they tend to forget that for some reason. And they're like, whoa, this is, I love this even more now, you know? Yeah. Um, So just, I don't know. Yeah, so we use a blenderful on everybody just because it's seldom and they're amazing. And what's a better thing to apply our makeup with? Exactly. Just not wonderful. That's it. Um, I'm just kind of going through back um, through my notes to make sure that like we didn't forget any. Oh, before and after picture. Yes. So before we even have them touch their face after their makeup is well, do we let them wash their? We let them wash their face. Yeah. So after they wash their face. Yeah. We want this really ugly. So I take my Riku (laughs) with me, and everybody's like, "What is this mirror? Oh my goodness! So intimidated by it." And then they're like, "This mirror's amazing." But even if you don't have a Riku. Just take your phone and just um, have them take a before and after. So take a before, after they wash their face, and no makeup, no nothing. Telling you guys, these before and after pictures, oh my goodness, people are like, this is so amazing. And that sells product right there. Yeah, Um, I feel like I've never looked better. Ever. 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 Yeah, no, they love it. And then the other thing that we wanted to mention was how to go dress to your party. Um, so we always go dressed, um, just like cute, stylish, approachable. Um, we don't want to go overdressed. Like we're not going dressed, like super dressed up. And it too, it also depends on your crowd. Like if everyone in your area, like when they're, when they go to a party, like if they are dressed, like if they're super, super dressed, you know, then go super, super dressed, Mm -hmm. but just kind of play to your audience. Um, but always make sure that you look, you know, nice. Um, and um, also make sure that your makeup looks really good. Really good. You're going to want to do your makeup. Um, a little bit like you're going out. Yeah, I would say we, like do, not our, every we day. do our makeup like this pretty much. Yeah. yeah. And then we always have a bold lip on because we want to sell some lips. Yeah, and limelight lip stuff is the best. Mm-hmm. So um, we want and we want them to try it. Unfortunately, Kelsey bought all bought the, that little called? mini uh, library, the lip, lip library. Yeah, so we've got a lot of colors it's for going to try. And, um, I think, I think that's it. I hope, okay, you guys, if we didn't touch on something that you have questions about, please ask us. We'll go back and we'll answer all your questions. Yeah. If you watch this on a replay, please put a replay in the comment. I meant to say that at the beginning. I forgot. (laughs) Um, those technical (laughs) difficulties really threw us off. We were so late because it wouldn't let us start our lives. So we're so sorry for being late. And we're so thankful that you guys are patient and here for us and supporting us. Yes. And we hope you enjoyed it. Any questions that are thrown in there during a replay, um, we will Definitely answer those whenever. You can always send us a private message. Always. And we're here um, for you. Yeah, not that you want us, but we're here. <laughs> <laughs> and just again, thank you to like Everyone. all of you. All of um, you. This is like such a supportive community. And we feel so like loved and supported and we're so happy to be a part of this family. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone and to Limelight, of course. Yes. Love you guys. Bye.